Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create realistic skin texture within Photoshop. So, in most cases, this comes as a result of maybe over retouching and maybe you used an open aperture and the lens was really wide open and you just get a soft image. So, just want to see how you can create a nice and beautiful skin texture within Photoshop and if I try to find this video helpful don't forget to like this video remember when you like this video YouTube is going to push this and recommend this video to so many people out there so make sure to hit the like button on this video and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section if at all you are not understanding anything about this tutorial so let's just come you can see the image is really nice and beautiful and if at all I'm to zoom in you can see uh, we are lacking that nice and beautiful skin texture in some areas so just want to find a way of fixing that in this photo so just going to come back to this new adjustment layer and create a new empty layer and you can simply double click to, re to rename it to skin texture just like that so what we want we just want to fill this layer with a color that is between black and white which is a 50 percent gray layer so with this new layer selected, we're just going to simply come to edit and we come to fill. And after doing that, we're just going to get another window that is saying content. So in the contents, just come and make sure you have 50% gray selected. And the blend mode is, is going to be normal. Opacity at 100% and we're just going to come and hit OK. So make sure preserved transparency is not checked or you don't have a tick right here. So make sure this option is not selected so just come and hit ok and it's going to fill the overall image with a layer that is 50 percent gray and it's going to look gray in color so after doing this we just want to ensure and make sure that this layer we are going to be adding a kind of texture but we just want to have control even after applying the texture to the photo we just want to be able to change those values later on after applying them to the photo so in this case, we're just going to make sure that we convert this texture layer into a smart object or a smart filter. So a smart filter enables us to change values after applying them to the photo later on. So just going to right click and we come and come to convert to smart object or convert to a smart filter. So after doing that, we're just going to come to filter and we're going to come to the filter gallery. And before you can come to the filter gallery, I'm just going to hit cancel right here. Before you come to the filter gallery, what you have to ensure or take into consideration is the direction of light of the image. Because this is going to dictate the texture and how the texture is going to be moving on the image. So for this case, you can see the light is really a little bit harsh on the forehead area. Right here, it is a little bit harsh can see in this area it is a little bit harsh meaning the light must be coming from the top left hand corner so you have to take into consideration the direction of the light or where the light was coming and hitting your subject from because that is going to dictate the direction of the texture that you're going to be embedding or putting or placing on the skin later on so with that taken into consideration for this tutorial the light is coming from the top left hand corner so we're just going to come back and activate our texture layer and with that taken into consideration we're just going to come to filter and we're going to come to filter gallery so after coming to filter gallery you can see that we have different options right here so the option that we want to use is coming down to the texture option and you come and select texturizer so under texturizer with the texturizer option selected you are going to simply come right here and you're going to change this and we look for texturizer and under texture we want to change it to sandstone so make sure you select sandstone and with sandstone selected so sandstone looks like skin texture in general so you can see that sandstone is going to be looking like skin texture and it's going to be more like the skin texture that we have in real life and the light option is going to be chosen from this option you can see that we have light right here so we're just going to come and choose 
top left since our light is coming or hitting the subject from the top left hand corner so make sure you don't leave on the invert option make sure it is not checked and come and simply hit ok so after doing that it, it is going to load onto the image and right now you can see that this has texture in it but the texture is not really nice and okay so just want to see and apply it in the best way possible so that it can match with the image that we have at our disposal disposal rather so I'm just going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal and you're going to change it to soft light so when you change it to soft light you can see that it has added that texture to the image but it is not really matching with the image option or image size so what we want to do we're just going to come back since this is a smart filter we're just going to come to the filter gallery option and just double clicking right there and it's going to take us back to this texture option and we're just going to change the relief so when you take the relief up it is going to be making it really so rough so make sure you choose the right relief so for this case, I feel like at around 15, we are good to go. And the scaling is going to be either zooming in or zooming out the amount of texture. So I'm just going to zoom this in slightly. So at around 112, we are good to go. And relief is more of how hard or how soft the texture is. So for this case, I'm just going to leave my relief at around 15 yeah 15 looks good and that looks so kind i'm just going to hit okay if it is not right we can always come back and look at the texture or the image in general so i'm just going to zoom out and look at the image from a distance and zoom in slightly so this looks a little bit better but it is a little bit rough to some extent so i'm just going to come back and i'm going to uh change my relief slightly and turn it down so that this can look a little bit natural and somehow realistic so i'm just going to turn up my scaling slightly to around 120 around there and simply hit ok so we're just going to look at the image back and forth so this looks a little bit better and it is really matching with the image slightly so after doing this you can see this is affecting the overall image in this case you can see is affecting the overall image and we just want to paint back the textures in specific areas so let me show you the before and after this is the before and this is the after before after we have the texture back but it is affecting the overall image so we just want to eliminate that texture from affecting the overall image so we're just going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and click on the layer add layer mask icon so alternate and simply left click and it is going to hide the effect from affecting the overall image meaning it has been hidden behind a black mask so in photoshop if at all you want to reveal what is hidden behind a black mask we just going to get a soft round brush so just right click and get a brush so for the hardness you're going to leave the hardness at you're just going to use a relatively hard brush so at around six percent opacity at 100 and flat 100 percent and we're just going to come and paint using a white brush so make sure you reset to get black and white by clicking on these two small squares and you can switch between black and white by using this x on the keyboard or using this arrow so make sure white is on top and we're just going to be revealing in photoshop white reveals and black hides so just want to reveal our texture in the image so using that brush i'm just going to paint in my texture just like that in the areas i want the texture to be effective or evidenced in the photo so i'm just going to paint in or paint back my texture and you can see this is really doing the magic and i'm just going to come and paint in the texture you can see reduce on the size and paint in the areas that you want the texture back in the photo so i'm just going to paint back the skin texture and you can see this looks great so I'm just going to paint back the texture in the areas I want it to be so you can see that this looks great and if at all you paint in an area that you don't want you can switch your brush back to black and eliminate the effect from those areas so just going to repaint in my details just like that and you can see this is really 
creating a highly natural and realistic skin texture in the image and our texture or our image is not looking a little bit blurry or blurred out so you can see that this looks great and make sure you paint in every area in the photo and this is going to look great at the end of it all so let's just paint in in these areas and you can see a before after before after and the skin looks a little bit natural let me just zoom out so this looks great this is a before after before after and when you feel like it is a little bit intense you can just come back and play around with this to have a little bit more and natural skin so i'm just going to turn down my relief slightly so that it can blend in within the photo so this looks great and looks a little bit realistic so basically this is how to create highly realistic skin texture within photoshop and if at all you found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating